my name's Dan and in this short video we're going to look at the anti-fumes ASM01 and using it in terrestrial mode. So um, nice and easy to use this meter which we can use to align any terrestrial area. Um, so if we start by having a look at the menu system we're going to drill uh, in this case into the terrestrial menu. As you can see we've got uh, several options here. We've got a spectrum, a very basic spectrum analyzer on the um, terrestrial band. I would certainly recommend going into the, the search option. So we'll select channel search. Um, and then once we drill into this menu, you'll see we've got a few options. Um, the auto search is there ready for when the, um, the aerial is in position and you've got it aligned correctly. Um, obviously you can see we've got some options here just to make sure we're selecting the right um, country or whether we're using antenna power or not. Um, just a side note, um, this only delivers 5 volts antenna power so it won't be able to power a masted uh, amplifier so you need to make sure that you've got a 12 volt power supply in place um, if you've got an amplifier in the system while you're aligning. Um, but if we just go back up to manual search uh, and now we've got our menu system where we can choose um, which channel we're going to be scanning on. So obviously you need to know which transmitter you're going to be uh, aligning to and where the channels are. Um, we've got a pretty good channel guide either on our website or in the back of our product guide. So that might be worth a look at. Uh, I already know which channel I'm going to use um, for aligning my antenna. Um, I'm using channel 22 just because I know that there is a multiplex being transmitted. Um, in my case I'm using Crystal Palace. Um, but as I say make sure you know which um, transmitter you're aligning to. Um, and then uh, once you've selected that channel you can then start to align your aerial. Um, obviously you need to make sure you connect a cable to it. So we'll bring the cable in. <coughs> Uh, this time you'll see I've got my F connector into the antenna input. Um, incidentally, make sure you take these out um, when you're not uh, using the um, the meter. Um, as you'll probably know, they're removable. Um, it, they're susceptible to damage if they're left in. And in fact, if that is uh, they do uh, end up getting damaged, then it does invalidate your warranty, unfortunately. So do make sure they're removed um, when you're using them. So we'll fit the cable on. Uh, and uh, straight away we've got a, uh, uh, some readouts because uh, this is a, um, an existing system, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, so we can see that um, on channel 22 we've got a quality readout, we've got a signal strength readout. Um, and then below some more technical detail, um, things like what um, uh, um, constellation is being used, forward error correction, um, our MER, that gives an indication to the, uh, the, the quality, that stands for modulation error ratio. Um, obviously we've got some PR IDs numbers for audio and video, um, shows our guard interval that's coming in. Um, obviously most importantly in the bottom corner we're looking at a, uh, uh, our power level um, in dB microvolts. So 49 um, is on the low side. Um, you want to be receiving between 45 and 65 dB. But as you can see the, uh, the quality is good, the strength is okay. Um, so obviously a little bit more uh, signal strength there uh, may be better. Um, obviously you can uh, look at some of the other channels um, that um, are maybe being broadcast on that um, from that transmitter. Um, obviously you need to know where to find them uh, by frequency um, or by channel number. As I say you can select as you can see via frequency if you wanted to um, just by selecting across to by frequency. Um, so um, and obviously once that's in place um, if you want to do a, a channel scan um, just to make sure that all the channels are coming in to where you want to see them you can just go exit uh, from that menu and then now you select your auto search and now that's going to start scanning right the way across the UHF band um, for any transmissions that are uh, that are coming in so uh, hopefully once we hit the, uh, the channel 22 which is 482 megahertz hopefully there we go there's some channels there we've got our digital terrestrial channels coming in on one side and our radio channels on the other side so so that's sort of in brief how you would use the ASM01 for aligning a terrestrial antenna. Do check out the other videos on our YouTube channel um, and uh, there's more information on our website um, which is antiference.co.uk. So thank you for watching.